in the previous video we created a business rule with the set default value action and saw it in action in this video we we'll look at the lock unlock set business required and set field value actions now let us implement the example which i had mentioned earlier that is if the marital status is equal to married then make the partner name field mandatory okay so uh, that is going to be on the contact entity basically and then if i click on details these are the two fields which i'm talking about so if the marital status is equal to married then i want this field that is spouse slash partner name to be required okay so let's go ahead and implement it so this one will be on the contact entity So uh, go into the contact entity, the business rules, and then I'm clicking on new. Let me give a name first. Okay. So now let me go ahead and configure my condition. So I'm clicking on this box. I'm gonna check. I'm going to give a name as check if marital status is equal to married. The field is going to be marital status and then the operator is equals married. So these are the different operators that is does not equal, does not contain, contains data. So choose the one which is appropriate for you. I have chosen uh, equals and I want to select married. Now you can check for multiple values if you want to, like divorce, widowed, etc. So, uh, so yeah. So let me go ahead and click on apply. So my uh, business rule is first checking if marital status is equal to married. Now what I need to do is I need to configure my actions when it satisfies a condition and when it and when it does not satisfy the condition. So let me go ahead and first configure the actions when it satisfies the condition. So first, let me go ahead and perform a lock or unlock action. Okay, so to do that, just click on that lock or unlock and drop it in this plus sign box. Okay, so uh, lock or unlock, what it will do is, it will make a field locked or unlocked. So let me go ahead and give a name for it. I'm gonna call it unlock marital unlock partner name field. Okay, and then choose the field which is spouse slash partner. And then change to unlock. That is what you want to do whether you want to lock it or unlock it. So I want to unlock it. Then just click on apply. Okay, so now you've performed the lock or unlock action. That is you're going to be unlocking the partner name field. Now you can add one more action along with this. That is other than unlocking the field, you can do something else. I want to make the field mandatory. So to do that, click on set business required and drop it right here after unlock partner name. So first what it will do is it will uh, check the condition if marital status is married. If it satisfies it, it will first unlock the partner name field. And then the second action which it will be performing is it will make the partner name field spouse slash partner name field business required so you can change it to business required or not business required okay so uh, i'm going to make it business required then just click on apply okay so now i've configured the actions for when it satisfies the condition it will unlock the partner name field 
and then oh, I do not give a name. So uh, I'm gonna give a name, make partner name field mandate. And then just click on apply again. Okay, so uh, yeah, so the marital status will be checked if it's married. If it is, it will unlock the partner name field and then it will uh, make it mandatory. Now I want to configure the action when it does not satisfy the condition. Okay, so what I want to do is if the marital status is anything other than married, then I want to lock it. And if there's any data already, then I want to clear that data. Okay, so that uh, wrong information is not present. So what I mean by that is by mistake, if the marital status was entered as married and if there was some data for the partner name field and then if you change it to something other than uh, married, then it is important that you clear the data which is there in the partner name field because it will uh, if you do not clear it then it will lead to wrong information that is if the if you will change the data to single but then there will be data for uh, partner name field which will not make sense okay so uh, let me go ahead and first lock that field so i'm going to drop it here this time i'm going to be locking the partner name field Then status this time is going to be lock. So I'm going to call it lock partner name field. Then just click on apply. Okay. And then I want to clear the data. That is, I want to set the field value. So I'm going to drop it here. And then choose spouse partner name. And then here like uh, in the previous example you can like uh, give a value or under type you can just say clear so if you do that then it will just clear the data which is already there okay so uh, let me go ahead and just click on apply okay so uh, let me give a name which is clear partner Okay, and then I'm just going to click on apply. So as you configure your business rule, that is your condition, the corresponding actions, if it satisfies the condition and does not satisfy the condition, then the text view will get updated so that it will provide easy readability. So the text view is here, that is it will provide you information in text as to what this business rule is doing. Okay, so once I've cleared the partner name, then what I want to do is, I want to make sure that the field is no longer business required. Okay. So, uh, because right now over here, it is made as business required. Right. So if it does not satisfy the condition, so when you flip it from married to something else, if you do not uh, make a action saying that this field should no longer be business required, then it will continue to remain business required and you would be a thrown an error if you do not enter any data for it okay so uh, make this not business required make the partner name field not required click on apply okay so now I'm done with my business rule. Okay, so I've configured my actions and I'm ready to save and activate it. So first I'm going to validate it. Validation is successful. Okay, so now let me go ahead and save it. Now let me go ahead and activate it. Activate. I'm going to minimize this now publish my customizations okay so once the uh, customizations are published I'm going to minimize this do an empty cache and hard reload first 
okay so once the empty cache and hard reload is done i'm going to be creating a new record now I'll call it test marital status business rule okay and then i'm going to the details tab so there you go you can see that the uh, spouse pa partner name is already locked because the marital status is not equal to married okay so if i change it to married now see what happens the field is made mandatory so if i leave it blank i won't be able to save the record see what happens now be thrown an error message saying that required fields must be filled so unless i enter the data i won't be able to save the record now if I change it to something else, see what happens, it says single, the field is locked and if there was any data already, it would have been cleared. So let me test it out, let me change it to married, enter a data for over here. Okay, I've entered a data, now if I change it to something like say divorced or widowed, this data needs to be cleared. Okay, so let's see. So there you go, the data is cleared and the field is locked. So you won't be able to enter data. Okay, so if I try to enter data now, I won't be able to. So that is how you use these different actions in business rules. In the next video, we'll look at the set visibility action in business rules.